Alright guys, so what's up, I'm playing back though today, get a really, really, really quick, um, duck about video, wanna do that really quick, of course, um, okay, my thing looked like it was, my face came kind of late, so yeah, I'm back with another video and stuff like that, sorry if this is coming out a day late for me, my computer, like this computer specifically, the internet, actually, oof, fix my transport, oh god, um, yeah, just like, it was like right here or something like that, um, um, but yeah, like I said, my um, internet on this computer was down. Like, it did not want to like, cut on, but I did fix it. Um, good. Sorry, it took me like literally a day late to get this out. If this is out a day early and stuff like that, late. Sorry about that. Was, this computer had to plug it up to my router. Had to, um, we, um, we sent it and stuff like that. It was a long process. It took almost all day. I was exhausted and tired by the time I got it done. So, I was like, you know, I'll do the videos in the morning. I'm so sorry. It's coming out late, though. So, hopefully, you guys will still go over it and stuff like that. There's still a lot of stuff. I do want to talk about some more important stuff in the um, game right now. So, of course, yeah. We, get, we did get the full Dragon Ball Heroes list. We got all the characters, the banners, all live in the game right now. It did go live around 3 a.m. Again, you have all the time to work to summon for this banner, though. Um, maybe I'll do some of uh, the videos, something like that. I might start doing it, just like for this and stuff like that. I was going to do it originally with Gut Tanks, so I was like, okay, I'll probably push, um, at this point, it's like the discounts are gone, so I might as well do this. So yeah, again, it's a global AJP thing right now, so, um, we're talking about heroes. Um, also, we do a new crossover category in the game. Actually, can I zoom in really quick? Actually, I don't know my mouse working again, so I can do this. Um, it's, it's a crossover category in the game right now. Uh, basically, everybody who's been in crossover, we're talking about heroes, fighters, um, Arale and stuff like that, like, just everybody. Oh, Karok's in here, okay, um, okay, that's, okay, that's kind of cool in here. Um, Okay, so I have a yeah, crossover specials and stuff like that uh, account as well. I think Gogeta could be in here, but not as a movie. Um, yeah, Bardock's in here because they, they did apply. He's from Xenoverse. I think yeah, also the same three videos are in here because I know they're for um because he's from um, I think they're trying to apply. He's from Breaking Blast too because that's like a what if and super same three in here. Good, he got another category because we all thought he's gonna be part of Xenoverse, but now he's part of um Breaking Blast two. Is another Dragon Ball fighting game. Um, okay, yeah, all Dragon Ball Heroes. All of course, all the Dragon Ball Heroes units are in here. All the new units are in here and stuff like that. Um. The character actually is really good though, all of Raleigh's even here. Actually, I still do, do have this Arale. Is where Goku never got this awakening for this Arale. I guess they're gonna probably make, maybe, you know, awaken these guys, give me easy gates in the future, because remember, this Arale first came out, she was like one of the best units in the game. Like, she really was like the best unit in the game for like, you just go stuff like that. And she had like full power Frieza. She, she was like basically full power Frieza and Estia Gogeta when she first came out, so yeah. Um, this is all it really is for that category. Basically, all crossover units, all, um, basically, yeah, all crossover event and units, stuff like that, talking about fighters, um, Xenoverse. Everything, any, any game you can basically imagine up here. Super Sour Man's in there, you know, based on <laughs> Repulse Superman right there. Um, but yeah, Janet Boo, all the Janet Baby Janet Boos. Again, like, it's good. This category really is good. Chills on here. Again, all crossovers. So I guess, the, yeah, they're playing the Bardock special. It's a crossover and stuff like that. So yeah, again, so basically every special character moving on. They could do like, I don't know, like a Dragon Ball Heroes, like Gogeta or whatever. They're going to put them in here. Uh, another fire's characters. They could put all the evil versions of the characters in here with all the slump backs. They could put them on here. So yeah. I mean, that's pretty good category. Again, I can talk about this all day. It actually is a really good category. It has more potential to grow in the future. Again, it's already big enough as it is. Um, even the hero of villain extermination plan units are in here, so they could get like a freezer from there. Slug, like black smoke, slug or whatever, because they are making like evil black smoke energy. So we'll go what we do with the part two um for the uh, thank you celebration. And of course, JP again we have the Dragon Ball Heroes stuff as well. Uh, this is kind of part two for global thank you celebration. Again, his Dragon Ball Heroes campaign is pretty much that as well. So yeah, again, and we do with the JP again. JP and Global is at the same exact celebration again this for JP as well. Again, same celebration, same stuff. Again, same type of stuff though. So yeah, they go down here though, of course. So yeah, of course we got part two for the thank you celebration. We got the um, the next summon banners coming up as well. Again, these are all banners that are gonna be live in the game next couple days. Again, we all got this be part two anyway, so it's really good right there. Um, yeah, we got the um, thank you celebration part two special missions. Blah, blah blah. We got the new um, a trial towards new horizons awakened power event. So basically, get character exclusive um. The new treasure proof of appeal or a deal, a deal. Basically, you can go in the um, game, go in the Baba Shop where you basically find the elite equipment tab. You can get special equipment for Team Bardo units only right now. Again, they have to create a dodge additional typical stuff for equipment. Again, it's just equipment just specifically for those units. We'll probably see those in the future. So, we're saying the Bros EZA is coming up for Global as well. Let's go ahead kind of place it for part two. That means we're going to do it, Kid Boo's EZA and we're going to get in, Kid Boo out of contact right there for a Doki if you want to get out of contact right there. Um, so we're saying three, um, you know, eight kid boo, he plugged me the next EZA for December. Is with the, yeah, so global, are they gonna get like, um, the ones playing at the same time then? Because, um, the time slots are kind of playing up with each other a little bit now. So yeah, again, Gold's getting some stuff JP didn't get early and stuff like that. They're, he's weak to siblings bond, so that team is kind of okay for Int. Um, uh, hopefully, probably, maybe it'll probably be easier for Global because everybody thinking we could buff him because he's been delayed so long for Global. They're not gonna change him again. All he had to do, he's okay, but all you had to do is give him defense for um, every orb he got. That's all you had to freaking do. I'm actually gonna go to the 
Um, again, that's all you had to do. Give him a defense for um, all orbs he got. That's all you had to freaking do. It's all you had to do, man. All you had to do. All you had to do. So yeah, um, that's gonna be Gumbin's event to be back up as well. Um, all the Brawl event movies and stuff like that are coming back up as well. So of course, uh, we have the Easy A for what's up. And we got a new surprise right here. Oh, Goku's gonna get his Easy A. So the Extreme Challenge event. Everybody think it could be like multiple stages. You know, stage one could be this guy, Goku. And this one would probably be Frieza. It could be like that, but again, we should be seeing this next couple of days. Oh yeah, it doesn't end up. Actually, not that, long, not, not that long for now. About a good week later. So yeah, I did make a full guide for this guy. I'll um, push. I'll probably push out that video in this video too. I did for JP. I will push him out early for global. I was gonna do him anyway though, so it didn't really matter. Um, because again, I will go for how to get all these guys in the um use a video stuff like that. It's coming pretty early for global because I thought it was gonna be like November. So that means Goku. That means for two thousand days, it could be in December. I guess they didn't want to pile it all up in one big celebration. Okay, let's have a thousand Goku Day EZA. Let's have this guy's EZA or open the one. So I guess we're going to say 2,000 days for December because everybody's still speculating that for Global specifically. So yeah, again, that should be really good though for Global. So that's really good. Of course, Lord Suck EZA. That's the last one we actually didn't need because every other unit we already had. Again, you had to have them um, easy, fully easy 8 and rainbowed. No, you had them fully easy 8, yeah, and rainbowed. Um, for all the easy 8 units specifically. You don't have to give them SA 20. That's the one thing. You don't have to give them SA 20. They just have to be rainbowed and, um, Easy 8, I think. Um, they don't have to be SA 10. Even though you had to have them SA 10. Yeah, you don't have to be, like, SA 10. Or 20. You just got them rainbowed and, um, um, rainbowed and, I want to say, Easy 8. That's all you had to do. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for Global for Part 2 and stuff like that, of course. Like I said, it really wasn't that much in here. They just wanted to, you know, probably put stuff in here as well. Again, not that much, because then there's some banners. They are actually really good, but I don't know them they're not worth your time. Don't do it. Um, so yeah, so quick JP, we got this Dragon Ball Hero celebration right here. I'm um, kind of like your wife there for a second. Um, we got a Dragon Ball Hero celebration, the 10th anniversary, of course, is here. Um, we got Dragon Ball Heroes, of course, we got the, um, again, this is for both Global and JP. We have the special missions, and of course, longer bonus, and stuff. Uh, a lot, we got, um, special, um, um, campaign, like, prizes and stuff like that right there. That means, I don't think Christmas vibes right there, but nah. Um, they specifically did, um, make that for JP, it's not for Global, because, um, I did this for the five anniversary where you can basically go and um, purchase tickets in the Baba Shop. Um, not Baba Shop, you gotta purchase tickets. Actually, you had to actually literally purchase them with money in Japan and stuff like that. Um, not actual money, but you had to purchase, like, you know, we buying, like, stone cells or whatever. Um, and, oh, it's almost one o'clock, holy crap. Um, I come on, watch the long one off. It's like hour, a couple hours earlier. But yeah, um, like I said, though, um, actually, let me my video. I don't know what's so weird right now. Um, um, because specifically in the, um, shop, um, you can go in the, um, you know, stone sale shop, you know, get stones and stuff like that. When you buy stones, you'll get, like, a special ticket where you can basically win, like, you know, prizes of BMGs. It is for the 5 year anniversary. I did do a full video for that. Again, I don't know when we look around me, though. I'm, because I kind of forget when I upload these videos. Ghost of a Banner is live in the game. I'll go there in a couple minutes. Um, super, super stone sale, like I said, when you go, when you just buy this one of the stone sales, you can actually get one of those tickets, prizes, get BMGs and stuff like that. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Joga Fest is the first Hero Joga Fest, so that's really good. Um, you got a new special Dark Emperor, um, Saga, um, the Dark Empire Saga, um, Emperor, I said Dark Emperor, Dark um, Empire Saga. We just got started off in Dark Empire Heroes, a story event, it's a, more of a special thing. A new time protect history, time patrol, basically another copy and paste of Legendary Goku event. Not, um, I mean, say, copy and paste of, um, in Dark Empire history a little bit, though. Um, I heard it's kind of a little bit harder, though. All the other Dragon Ball Heroes stuff are coming back up as well, so yeah. Um, that's pretty much it, though. Again, these campaigns are never really meant to be that long, though, but yeah. Um, yeah, um, I actually didn't mean to actually open it up, though, because I know you go through, like, a massive amount of opponents and stuff like that, so yeah. Um, again, like I said, I really wasn't trying to make this video that long or anything like that, so yeah. Again, because we still got some good, some more stuff to kind of go over. We got the Awakenings for, um, the, um, last couple of units, um, from last year, of course. Um, go over them all really quick. Um, so yeah, um, we got Dark Mass Saiyan. Um, did I say Dark Mass Saiyan? Oh yeah, oh, Black Mass Saiyan. That's a Dark Mass Saiyan. <laughs> Black Mass Saiyan. Um, yeah, he's not Vegeta, but he's on Vegeta's family. That's good. That's that's nice though. So yeah. Um, try to think really quick. Um, I don't know. My hood's being really real right now. So yeah. Um, like I said though, I'm gonna go over really quick. Got the same leader skill, key three, everything up. Um, stats 100 for all of their perspective, perspective typing or whatever. So yeah, he also admits damage, lowers attack and defense. That's really good. Um, attack, attack and defense, but again, yeah, leaves the category don't really change that much. They all really get sharing the limit or you know, extra link or whatever. Um, so yeah, um, the other cast crossover category as well, so it's really good. So attack and defense plus six, um, 160. Um, key six when um when um key six or more. Plus two key, um, and a plus two key when key is 10 or more. Plus additional, um, attack plus 60%. Medium chance of, um, doing a crit. 
and with three more crossover category allies on the team. So yeah, again, you're gonna all run on the same team anyway. Those so again, you probably wanna go for additional because um he's gonna be really critting. Again, you wanna really run more crossover category units if you wanna go for additional for that so he can maximize his lowering attack and defense. But again, he's gonna give himself a lot more key and stuff like that. Again, he's gonna be again, they're all gonna be pretty much on the same team and stuff like that. But if you really just wanna go for additional for this guy, I'll probably say that's the best bet. This is going to be lowering attack defense. It's going to get up overall and stuff like that. So overall, that's going to be really good for this guy anyway, though. So yeah, again, um, pretty solid for these guys again. Um, uh, uh, like I said, just pretty much simple stuff. Uh, so let's go for Dark Mask King. Same with the scroll effect. Same um, super attack effect. So attack defense plus 100. Plus additional defense plus 100% for 5 turns. That's really, actually, this is going to be a really good tank. I do receiving attack. Guard gets all attack with his um, Dark Mask Heroes category ally attacking the same turn. Core 10% health. Um, of damage dealt as HP. So basically, I think the more damage he does, he has LRB fans effect, basically, the more damage he does, the more he's gonna get his health back up. So that's actually really good for his guy. He's gonna give himself a lot of defense, guarding, and stuff like that's gonna be really good. Again, all we were, what you wanna run, you wanna run them all with the same team anyway, though. So again, um, I'm kind of glad the guy's got awakenings as well, so you can go ahead and get that done. So that's pretty good, though, of course. Um, so yeah, again, it's for both Gold and JP. Um, Dark, um, no, it's Super Mira. Um, yeah, great lower defense. Great raise defense to cause supreme damage. Again, four additional auto for that guy. So yeah, attack and attack puts 100 percent and defense puts 50 percent. Disables enemies guard attack. Um, which doesn't really actually mean anything, honestly though. Um, this doesn't mean they can't really just guard. Even though you know they don't really need to guard like that. Attack enemies attack defense um, minus 20 percent for two turns. Plus additional um attack plus 10 percent. Um, and high chance of becoming a crit um, when attack enemy um, is an attack down status. So basically, you're not gonna kind of really see it though, but you gotta basically get this guy attacked down. It's pretty okay though. Um, but first thing is, you gotta wanna run it together. It's um, this type of guy. Again, he's pretty okay. Um, again, he's kind of like our Jeremy had to have the attack status down um, for him to like, maximize his crit damage ratio. So that's pretty okay, I guess. Um, next unit, I think, is um, yeah, Demigra. Um, so yeah, raise, oh, he raised attack for one turn, caused supreme damage. Attack defense plus 120, extreme class allies, key 3, and defense plus 30% for all, um, attack, all allies, attack defense minus 20%, no, all enemies attack defense minus 20%, plus additional attack plus 10% per cast over category ally on the team. So yeah, again, you're gonna want to run them all. That's pretty good, though. Again, all you guys, they all can be really good. Again, you cannot use, um, they all don't have, they do all not have formal super attacks. They do not all have formal super attacks. So you got to use cast for all these guys again. You so well, unfortunately that's kind of the thing with these dark market units. You got to use cast for all of them. So those awakenings are really solid though. So I guess the next awakenings for next year will be Bardock, um, Gohan, and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I know it's um New York on um, New York event that's up in the game right now. Again, um, the weakness is um, extreme class allies for Dragon Ball heroes. You want to use um, them. That's a big weakness you want to use against these guys. Um, um, the overall medals you need for um, the awakenings used from this um, event are for Broly and Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, so you want to go ahead and do that. Again, the Doga Offensive Event, I don't know if this one's particularly hard, but they say it was kind of, it's going to be a new type of difficult event thing. So yeah, um, this is a new Grand Prix event up in the game right now. Um, these tickets right here, actually, you want to open them just really quick. Um, um, right here, if you want to, um, again, as you do this event, you will be getting these um, tickets and stuff like that. Um, you get one to three, you'll be behind this, like, evil past guy from, like, brought up, um, oh, Tooks? Um, they're, um, Ter- what's that? Tertulo, um, whatever, how you would pronounce the name. Um, you get to use, um, again, like this stage, it's, it did say number one, it said say one, so we're gonna have more stages for these guys. Again, you can go to the Baba Shop, um, go to the um, Treasure Tab, um, like, yeah, Special Treasure Tab, um, use these tickets, you can get them, um, yeah, use those tickets and get, um, what you call it? Get like um, it says right there. I'm going to Baba Shop. Going to the special treasure tab. You go to skill orbs on um, and stuff like that. They all they all have their own specific um event and skill orbs like Toa, on uh, Tora, um Fasha, Bardock. They all have their own type of skill orbs type of um box in the Baba Shop and stuff like that. So yeah, that should be really good um <clears throat> for those skill orbs and stuff like that. Again, these are the only units you can actually use. It's all like that during the event. They, I think I don't think they have to be awakened, but I think you have to awaken them and stuff like that. Again, it's only specifically team products. You cannot use any other units. So everybody in the moment will be running team products like that. And you actually can get the second copy here. Uh, I think the third copy. I can't remember what the third copy is. The second copy. The um, third copy is from. I heard the last copy might be in Battlefield. Everybody's been speculating that, but I don't know how it's constructed though. But yeah, um, again, you go, you can get this ticket as you do the event. Go in the Baba Shop. Go in the special treasure tab. Basically, where you open equipment and stuff like that. Easy where you open equipment and boom, there you go. Um, that's pretty super simple there. Um, but yeah, though, um, that's pretty simple for that. Again, we'll probably see more of those come up in the game as well. Um, this new Infinite Dragon Ball, um, no, um, Protect History Time Patrol event. Um, I heard it's kind of like Legendary Goku event. And stuff, no, um, oh my god, Infinite Dragon Ball History, kind of. Um, bet you buy the um, units more and more and more, you will be getting, um, like, yeah, as you buy them more and more and more, um, 
you will, um, what do we call it? You will, um, can't think of it right now. Um, as you beat the opponents more and more and more, you get, um, to the Dragon Stones, um, stuff like that. I heard it's up to 25. I know, I think you can do it. I think within, yeah, 25 turns, you get, again, you get more, um, I'm trying to think of it right now. The, um, not the more, but, um, as you do the event more and more and more, stuff like that, you'll get, as you beat the enemies more and more and more, you'll, um, get the events done, stuff like that. So that's really good stuff over there for there, um, for that. Um, yes, yeah, so basically, it's, yeah, again, it's like this, um, infinite Dragon Ball stage where basically, infinite Dragon Ball history, where basically you go in, you beat it, and stuff like that, and you'll just get, like, um, as you beat the punch more and more and more, you'll get more events. Um, the short event is up right now, the, um, Dark, um, Emperor Saga. Basically, go to the event, you get this new, um, Soza card. Um, Sel, 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 I would say Yeah, Sel, Selza, Selzer, and that's Selzer, Selza. Selzer's the um, other one. So yeah, um, I guess only a couple of stages though. You get the medals from the first stage, you get um, this Freedom of Car from the second one, and of course all the units from the event. Um, all the evil extreme characters, they do all wake up from this um, event, so they'll all have shot in the limit. You need 140 medals overall though, because again, as we get more extreme units, I guess we'll um, awaken these guys more and more and more. So that would be pretty cool, honestly, though, right there. I uh, know it's the cross for category banner. A lot of people are debating the summon on this banner. Actually, I would do want to go over this really quick. This is all I was kind of talking about as you um, buy and purchase more stuff in, uh, with the stone sales. You will be getting um, tickets and stuff like that, I think. I think it's only specifically for JP, the whole gift price thing. But see, um, this is just a, for example, for the private anniversary. You can... Okay, that hurts. Maybe the hair cut off. Um, like I said, though, um, you can get, like, BMGs. Special music and stuff like that, prizes and stuff like that. Um, again, JP had this type of thing before. I think I spent this in like the last couple of videos uh, specifically. Um, you can do this and stuff like that. That's really good though, right there, honestly though. So yeah, um, if you want to go ahead and do that for if you play, if you're specifically a JP player, unfortunately, Global would not see light of day for this though, unfortunately though. So yeah. Um, but yeah, honestly, that's cost of a banner. Again, a lot of people are debating with the summon on it and stuff like that. I say go for it though, because again, these are used only once a year. You can, I guess again, a lot of people are like, oh yeah, should I summon next year, the year after that, because they're going to be back and stuff like that for Global and JP. I'm kind of glad they did this though, because I had a feeling they were going to. I, I feel like everybody in the mall knew that um, this banner was going to be up for Global and JP specifically, because. Um, um, because um the uh, they didn't come back until, like because you know last year we got in February of last year I'm thinking it's like they're gonna delay it on purpose so you can so you can get this guy's early for Gopo and JP which is kind of glad if they do this every year that's good for both games and stuff like that a lot of people always complain both games should be caught up and stuff like that you know, Gopo's gonna lose all tickets and stuff like that uh for the game being caught up and stuff like that I'm mean, a little bit really mad about that even myself. But overall, though, actually, the banner, again, every year the banner has a whole bunch of units and stuff like that. Um, they are the only used on the banner specifically, though. Like, all these guys, they're all only used on the banner, so you have a better shot in getting them now. Plus, they have a whole bunch of units down here that are unfeatured, so you can try to get them as well. Again, you again, is, I think it's guaranteed featured, so you're going to, again, get one of these featured units. You're going to end up playing Vegito, or Broly, or Toa. Again, probably don't go to your fam on the banner, because, again, it's guaranteed SSR, so you'll be getting um, any of these units anyway, though. So, yeah. Just saying though there. So yeah, again, I'll probably say go for the banner. There'll probably a couple stones at it. It is a blue coin banner, so unfortunately, it's not a Dr. Pets banner, it's a crossover banner, so you cannot um get blue coins. Unless you're going for major support type units and stuff like that, it's pretty much it though for that. So yeah. Again, it's all we want to go today. Again, the banner is live up in the game. We got lots of new stuff for Global NJP. We got a Thank you celebration part two. We can talk about heroes campaign. So like I say, the crossover banner is up though. I say something for it. Go through multi if you want to go into it, if you want to do it or not. I said go ahead and do it. It's really worth it in the long run. Again, like I said, really worth it. Really good to do though. So yeah. See you guys there though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. Oh, good junk. You know, what do you guys think? I like the crossover. Um, it was actually really good. Again, someone on the banner, do a couple multis. Don't go too ham on it. If you really want Vegeta, if seems like for Vegeta is your favorite character, go ahead and get him. Um, Again, these bears are once a year. You have to summon on it if you don't feel like it. It is up for about a good couple of weeks for Global until the 7th of December. So go ahead and do that if you feel like it, if you really want to. So yeah. If you really, really want to. It's been really since that. See ya. Yay! So yeah, um, you're gonna be happy when I get going. I might do some video if I have the time for it. I just gotta do everything off my phone. You know, space and stuff like that. So yeah, I do like recording on my iPhone specifically. Um, it's still kind of messed up right now, but I don't care. So yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so what do you guys think though? Of course, yeah. See you guys later though. Again though. Peace out.